Namaste, uh, I am Pratibha Pandey. I am a researcher and a science entrepreneur. Um, I did my PhD in chemistry and nanotechnology from Northwestern University in the US. And currently I am focused on doing research on value addition of uh, medicinal and aromatic plants of Nepal. After the de devastating earthquake in Nepal in 2015, my husband and I decided to come back to Nepal sooner than later to start experimenting innovation and sciences in Nepal and see what can be done. Food waste is an alarming global issue where one third of the uh, food is wasted worldwide. Fruits and vegetables account for 45% of that uh, waste. Uh, looking at the context of Nepal, 37% of the total fruit production is shared by citrus fruits and at least 10 to 15% of that citrus fruit is wasted. Most of the citrus fruit waste are dumped in landfill as well as in water resources which creates huge environmental issue related to greenhouse emissions which causes health issues for people. It doesn't only have uh, health implications but also has uh, environmental, economic and food security issue uh, due to citrus fruit waste. Through OWST funded early career fellowship, my plan is to add value to the waste from citrus fruits, specifically orange and lime, by extracting highly valuable bioactives, which is therapeutically active chemicals, to have uh, their uses in uh, pharmaceutical industry, nutraceutical industry, and also cosmetic in industries. This research project is being conducted at Research Institute for Bioscience and Biotechnology, RIB. We have three uh, very talented uh, researchers in our team who have been kind of supporting us with this research for value addition in uh, three different segments of the project. Currently, we are sampling uh, fruits waste from Kathmandu Valley, from fruit vendors as well as farmers. We're also collecting fruits and waste products from Palpa, Gulmi and Rupandehi, which are at different geographical uh, regions and elevations to look at the impact of geographical conditions on the expression of bioactives in these uh, waste products. After coming back to Nepal and while doing uh, this research project, some of my huge challenges were to find the right collaborations, uh, finding the right equipments to do analysis uh, the way we had designed the project, as well as finding the right uh, researchers to conduct the research. As a woman scientist, the biggest challenge is not technical. It is an adaptive challenge where the society has to be ready to give an environment to for women to prosper in sciences, whether it be at home or in your organization. Even the national as well as organizational policies are lacking gender lens and inclusivity because of which there isn't a conducive environment for women to grow in the field of sciences. However, this is a great opportunity for us to mentor and train the researchers. And it also presents us opportunity to collaborate and also utilize the limited resources we have in the best way we can. Science and technology is not prioritized in Nepal and there is only less than 0.3% budget allocated for science and technology to ensure there is higher research budget as well as priority given to emerging technology a lot of us are directly involved in policy making processes as well as one of the council members for STI implementation plan we have ensured three key changes in the implementation plan first is to increase the budget uh, to at least one percent for science and technology to incorporate gender lens and inclusive innovation in the process and also to have provisions to accelerate emerging technology, especially in the advent of fourth industrial revolution. So this is my break time. So um, just a minute, I'll call my daughter. She's with the nanny uh, who's supported by OWST pro funded project as well. When I travel, I hire her or when I'm in lab, I hire her. 
at RIP, we make sure that there is good distribution of male and female researchers. We also give opportunities for women in decision-making roles, as well as we are changing the HR policies to make it more conducive for women to grow in the field of science and technology. To address the issue of limited infrastructure, as well as collaboration, RIB has come together with two other research institutes this year in a campus called the Biomedicum. Even though it looks small, the kind of research we're doing here is related to photonics, cancer cell biology, as well as biotechnology. Early Career Fellowship also emphasizes mentoring researchers and students so that their scientific capability is grown. After being a part of this project, two of my researchers have gotten full scholarship to pursue their PhD in immunology and virology in reputed universities in the US. And this is a huge asset for the country as well because these researchers plan to come back to Nepal after their training. After I received Early Career Fellowship, my legitimacy, visibility, and formal authority in research, in entrepreneurial sphere, as well as to make meaningful changes in the policy document by being involved with the government. Conventionally in extraction, tedious processes like toxic solvents and high temperatures are used, which is in fact even more harmful than trying to value add to the waste products. In our proposed green method, we are proposing to use non-toxic solvents like water and ethanol, which are also low cost and readily available at room temperature so that we're not using high energy to add value to waste products for economic gain, as well as to alleviate the environmental issues associated with it. I chose this research project specifically because it fits really well in the context of Nepal, where we have huge waste problem and uh, haven't been really doing value addition of any kind in plants, especially for scale up. So there's a huge potential for scale up of this research. It's a low cost technology, green technology, which is readily accessible in Nepal. And also it can have huge economic impact for the country as well as all the stakeholders involved in the fruits and vegetable value chain in Nepal. Um, this project can also be implemented not just for citrus fruits but with small interventions we can use this outcome for other fruits and vegetables as well as medicinal plants in Nepal. What drives me to embark on the continuous scientific journey is seeing the possibility of leveraging science and technology to accelerate the prosperity of the country. I find it very fulfilling that I am involved in the process of creating a leveled playing field for both males and females to embark on this scientific journey that I have gotten into as well. For me, science is not just about what it can do today, but how it will shape the type of just and prosperous world that I would like our future generations to thrive in. And that is why I love doing what I do.